Welcome back, everybody. Although hair loss is something that's usually associated with men, more than half of women over the age of 50 will experience some form of it. And our next guest is here to offer some great advice. Please welcome Dr. Robert Jones. Welcome, Robert. Welcome. Great to Thanks for being here. Welcome, Robert. Now, well, Robert, how serious is this, this issue for, for women? Well, I, I'm very happy to be here. This is a topic I'm very passionate about. It's, uh, I see women every day in the office in tears because they're losing their hair. And it's, it's, a, it's something that they've been to their family doc for and they're basically brushed aside. And it's such a huge issue for them to, to uh, usually with women, hair loss is associated with either aging or illness. And men can get away with a little bit of thinning hair, but women, you know, it's devastating. It sure. really is very emotional. And 90% of the time, there's something we can do. So I, it's just, it's nice to be here and let people know that there is something that can be offered. Yeah, no, there, there are certain causes, correct? Let's go the, through By far those. the most common cause of female pattern baldness is hereditary. And um, usually, uh, you know, probably 80 or 90 percent of the women I see have hereditary female pattern baldness. There's also Great. pregnancies, um, certain medications, um, the birth control pill, as well as is also with females, the, uh, the popularity of hair extensions mm -hmm. can put pressure on the roots yes, yes. and that can cause hair loss. And, and quite often black females too will, will wear their hair in tight braids yeah. and lose hair in the hair. Well, I guess you well. see it in the modeling industry and in the acting industry, you know, these, and in the television industry, these ladies thicken their hair with these extensions and then they take causes them out. permanent hair yeah. loss. Let's Very, have a look. Yeah, we have a picture. Yeah, we have picture a picture of some. Yeah. This is, this is what? Traction. What is this called? The traction alopecia. So this, this particular female has worn her hair in tight braids for years and what ha ends up happening, and it's a lot more common than you think. And yeah. especially with, with extensions, what happens is, is all of the hair thins out because it's, ca it's causing pressure right through the whole scalp. And you're constantly on the, pulling uh, the root, yeah, I guess. That's right. Okay, let's yeah. take a look at another photo here. Yeah. And what is that this would one be here? just typically female pattern baldness. Okay. Now what that is, is um, females that lose hair, lose it um, differently than males. Uh, mm -hmm. Females lose hair, usually preserve their hairline and generally thin all over the top of their head and usually sort of the top of their head and their crown area and uh, where men usually sort of, uh, sort of thin in the front and on the crown area. So it's a little bit of a different pattern with females and it's actually called the Ludwig scale and um, it's sort of generally global thinning on the top and they're usually thin on the back too so it's, uh, it's a different pattern with hereditary hair loss. Okay, now what do, we have? What, 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 what do we have up here? What's this? Well, this is the Ludwig scale and as you okay. can see, it's, it's uh, hair loss usually from the top down the midline and sort of out. They usually get global thinning over the back of their head as well, but they again usually um, sort of get generalized thinning with preservation of that front hairline. Right. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit about, you know, um, uh, there's, there's, it seems to me like, you know, men, obviously, there's not a big, it's not a huge issue for men, but for women. It's it, a big it's, issue it's for a, men, too. It's a big issue, of course. But a bigger issue, I, I know that. For, females, that. But, but yeah. for women, it's a bigger issue, and, and the communication about it is, seems to be not as, as, as open, they're not as open about talking about it. Well, it's embarrassing, you know, and again, it's, uh, it's, it's something that they go to their doctor for, and their doctor's used to dealing with, with people with serious illnesses, mm -hmm. and they go in to see them, and most of the time, again, most of the time they get brushed aside, but it's, uh, Definitely with, with most females, there is something you can do. There are treatments. Okay, let's go through some of those. Yeah, let's go through. Well, for most females, I would say the, 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 there, there are basically two options. First of all, you want to rule out medical causes because they're usually reversible. Mm -hmm. Once that's done, um, the next thing that we usually try is minoxidil or Rogaine. Uh -huh. Now, the Rogaine that you get over the counter is a 2% solution. Through your physician, you can get a stronger solution, which is a 6 or 6%. And that's usually the place we start. The other thing and is, what, what would that Rogaine do? Like, does it actually grow hair? Or does yeah, it'll it grow new hair. In fact, oh. I have. I tell females just be careful; you don't get it on your face. Or <laughs> so it, it will stimulate it does. hair growth. Yeah, it will for sure. Really? Wow, that's yeah. interesting. Now okay. the other is is uh, cosmetic options, and mm -hmm. there's basically two options. One is I've got a few uh, good people that make amazing sort of wigs that people can use that mm -hmm. um, will. And I, you know, there shouldn't be any embarrassment about wearing something like that if it makes you look good and you feel good about it. The other are cosmetic hair thickeners and there's a number of these on the market. They're basically just tiny keratin or hair fibers that stick to your existing hair. And what we do is you just basically shake it on and it makes your hair look thicker. I want to see this. So how does yeah. this work? So well, I'll show you. Actually, I've got thinning hair, so I'm going to show you on myself. So this is the fiber, and as you can see, it's a little bit thin up there. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm sort of losing some. I've had, I've had a hair transplant, but it's still a little bit thin. Oh, that's and so what good. you do is you just sort of shake it on. It's like salt and pepper. It's like a salt 
pop shaker. My, my friends say, my friends tease me and they say, when are you going to come out with the pepper can I, shaker? Can I do it with pepper yeah, shaker? put a little on there. Pepper sure. shaker. Oh my gosh, it does come out like a fiber. Yeah. That's so really it's interesting. Better, actually, it's good for females because it isn't actually very good in the yeah. hairline. It's better for you. look like bon, John Bon Jovi right there now. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, and right. you just rub it. And, and then what, what, what happens? What does that do? Well, what it is is tiny keratin hair fibers that stick to your existing hair and make your hair look thicker. Uh -huh. And it's uh, it's an amazing product. And, and and especially with females, it's an amazing product. And, and does this come in different colors? Is that oh, like do you just match your existing hair? No, no. You use this, you know, the dark black when you use it on blondes <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a question that like something I would ask. <laughs> I'm a little shocked that he asked that. That's usually what I come up now with. Now you look at well, you look at movie a lot of movie stars. Sometimes they they don't have much hair and sometimes they have more hair. And it's I think there's over a million users of this. You know what? And those well, industries, sure, all those industries, like I was saying earlier, the modeling industry and all of those smoke and mirrors. It's all smoke, smoke and, and mirrors. And so why not use a little smoke and mirrors, and mirrors in our lives? Whatever. Right, ladies, mean. you can have a little <laughs> smoke and mirrors. Okay. And the, uh, the next one, I guess, is, uh, is a little more uh, extreme with the hair transplant. Uh, hair transplants are probably one in 20 or one in 30 females that I see actually come. They need a good donor site and a small area to cover. But again, that's a last resort. Thank you very much, Robert. And before Fantastic. we go, Robert brought something for our audience. You're all taking home a bottle of the Natural Fiber Building System Instant Hair. There we go. And everyone at home, go online for a chance to win a year's supply. Just check out our website for the details on that. All right, there's still lots more to come. We'll be right back. Thanks again so much. It was great. Thank you for being here with us. Great information.